Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. The one thing I asked my kids to ask God for more than anything else when they were growing up was wisdom. Wisdom was not something I could truly give them unless they desired to gain it. The by reading today is from 1 Corinthians 1 and 2, and the verse of the day is 1 Corinthians 1, verse 18. For the word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. In context, Paul was writing to the church at Corinth about the foolishness of those who think they are wise. There was strife in the church over divisions in the church, nothing new there, right? And which leader they should follow. We have the same problem today, conflict over things that just don't matter. It isn't the denomination or the leader who saves, it is the message we carry. And the word of the cross is foolish to those who are perishing. That is to say, the message of the cross does not make sense to the world. Why would God die? How is this a victory? They didn't realize that it is they that will die unless they accept Christ's death on their behalf. Sin was nailed to the cross, and to those who are saved, the word of the cross is power and redemption and salvation. Key words that I picked, the Greek word for the word word is logos or logos. It means the sayings of God. Christ is the living word, logos of God. Thought of the day. Foolish is as foolish does. And application, those who know Christ will live like they do. Be wise. Walk in wisdom. Don't just talk about it. Go with God and his precious word, friends. Tune in tomorrow as we head back into the book of Genesis.